Hey filmmaker Shung Lee here. In this video I'm going to show you how to get the clarity effect that you can do in Photoshop in Premiere Pro. So here we're now in Photoshop and we're going to show you what the clarity effect is. So we're going to camera raw here. So I already loaded in a screenshot or a frame grab of the video and this video doesn't look really that bad however the contrast and everything is really low and I personally like to use the clarity effect and what it does it gives a little bit of a contrast but also sharpens up the video so it's a little bit different than if you are actually using just the contrast effect so here this is what contrast does and then you need to change the exposure to compensate for that it's making the image darker and yeah this effect is not that great looking to get this clarity effect preset go to the link in the description below you will land on this page the most important section is this part press one of these buttons and share tweet out this page or this post and this section will disappear and a download link will appear and if you really appreciate what I do, there's also a donate button here below. Once you have downloaded the file, unzip it, go to your effects tab inside Premiere Pro, go to the presets bin, right mouse click on it, choose import preset and import this file. Once you have done that, it will be inside Shungda's presets and it will be in the folder of Shungda Clarity Grade and there you will have the free presets. To make an adjustment layer, go to your project tab, go to this icon, the new item icon and then choose adjustment layer. Then choose OK and it will make an adjustment layer. Just drag it on top of your video and then just drag and drop the preset onto the adjustment layer. So inside Premiere Pro, I've made the preset. So here we have on the adjustment layer and then we have three different strengths. So we have the clarity low, mid and high. So this is clarity on low. So it's already quite the improvement. And then we have on mid and we have high. It's not the same as contrast because in contrast, you just lose a lot of the detail in the sky. Well, with the clarity effect, you still get the detail in the clouds and in the sky in the highlights. And here's another example, and this is low, mid, and high. So the clarity presets is actually quite a heavy effect. Uh, I suggest to apply them onto a uh, adjustment layer at the end of your edits and to yeah just grade your entire video with it. However, it will slow down your uh, rendering time. And here we have a shot from the A7S. This is Cine 2 with Rec 709 colors. So it has already got like the nice colors, but you can see it's uh, still quite flat, doesn't have that much contrast. And here we have like the low. So this already improved the image quite a lot. You gain like, uh, yeah, a little bit more contrast, everything sharpens up. And yeah, mid and high are a little bit too much, but certain shots or certain cameras, the mid and high will work. But yeah, for most cameras, the low should be already on a good setting. So that was the clarity preset for Premiere Pro. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. Also check out my other videos on this channel because there are a lot of other tutorials and presets. And if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.